This is a message to the global developers. In the last month and a bit, you guys have been doing all right. There's been a, a solid stream of updates, actually new content that we can play. So great work on that, lads. However, I've got to call a dick move a dick move. You know, we got to call this out. Something everybody's been talking about this week. The Assault Mode Meliodas banner and the commitment that was made in the last developer notes. And this isn't the biggest thing in the world, but it's annoying, man. It's really, really annoying. Because in the dev notes, you said, we will also try to keep the draw pool lineup similar. In the off chance that we cannot, we will adjust the pools to include more desirable options. And on the Assault Mode Meliodas banner, on the Japanese version, they had the New Year's Festival units. Granted, at the time, it was New Year's. Green Dean Meliodas, Red Elizabeth, and Blue Jericho. Now, meta relevant C-Man, none of them, like, are really top meta relevant. Blue Jericho can be really good, really fun. And also, Green Dean Meli, like, he's a bit of an interesting character as well. So a lot of people were excited by the chance to get these characters, maybe in the AM Meli banner. But instead of those three, we've got the wonderful Fraudrin, Melascula, and everybody's favorite character, in the entire world, Red Esterosa. Now, I must say, for Tier 1 Guild Wars and stuff moving forward, Fraudron ain't too bad. But Esterosa and Malascular, like overall, nowhere near as valuable as some of the benefits from the New Year's characters. Plus as well... The New Year's characters are like, you know, they've not really been on any main banner that people would summon on. So there's a chance for people to flesh out their box a little bit more. And all these characters are available on the Part 2 SSR ticket. So I'd argue overall in terms of rarity and also just the excitement factor of these champions, man. These are not at the same level or more desirable. They're much, 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 much Red Esterosa, much, much, much all the way down lower, so much lower, so low. Get Esterosa out of this banner. What was he doing there in the first place? So I just had to like talk about it today, man, because it's really, really annoying. I think you've been doing a good job overall, a decent job at kind of making a better attempt with Global, kind of slowing down the banners so people... I've had a chance to, you know, get the gems for Guaranteed Sariel, the One Escanor, and Assault Mode Meliodas. And that's what the boycott did, is it slowed down Global just enough that if you were a, a savvy grinder, you had enough gems guaranteed to get the One Escanor, Assault Meli, and Sariel. But doing stuff like this, man, is still like a bit of a dick move. It's just really frustrating to see this kind of stuff happen again and again. I'm glad that they're not taking the Archangels out of this banner, man. But this still like, it isn't an upgrade at all, man. It's a bit of a downgrade to the banner. And again, it's not the biggest thing in the world. And I do think that they've been doing better than they were previously over the last seven weeks. But again, stuff like this is annoying, man. It's annoying. Like, we all see it. And it just like pisses people people off. So please, Global, do something. I'll leave it in your gracious hands. I think the best solution, if this is possible, is to give every single person that's pulled a corresponding, um, a replacement character, a version of that New Year's character. So Red Esterosa, they get Red Liz in their own box. Fraudrin, they get Green Dean Melly. And also for Melascula, they get the Jericho. I think that'll be the absolute best outcome for this situation. And I think for nerfing this banner slightly, it's probably the fairest one as well. Um, but yeah, just stop doing this shit, Global. I thought we were over this, lads. And we're, we're back here, mate. We're back here. Come on, lads. You made some promises and commitments and i think you've been doing overall a decent job so far but stop slipping boys we don't like we don't want global devs that slip in we want global devs that you know make promises keep those promises deliver on them that's what we want it's like if bloody easy as that you didn't need to fuck around with this banner but you did so like we fucking see you lads stop it stop it it's time to stop grow up behave give people the new year's characters on this banner why did you replace them in the first place, you mugs?
please just do better global devs. Like, you don't have a difficult job. You just have to meet the expectations that are set by the Japanese version or surpass them. I've been saying this for a goddamn year. You guys have got it cut out, mate. The Japanese, the KR devs, they've made a fantastic game. They put in really, really good banners. Aside from the Lolly Merlin banner, feel free to massively, massively buff that banner. Buff that banner to the moon and back because it was terrible on the Japanese version. Um, but yeah, just just do better global developers, please. That's my message. Thank you. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Unless you made the decision to remove the New Year's units from this banner, then, yeah, I can't wish a fantastic day upon you. I hope your day's, like, slightly not so great, pal. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now, or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.